G'day guys. Well, I made it. I'm back out the bush again, prospecting. Um, I suppose I better introduce myself. I'm Biggest Kev. Welcome to my channel. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm back out the bush. I've come to a creek. I haven't, um, I haven't done any test panning or or samples out of this creek. So I've come come down here, and I'm gonna. Oh, I'll just stick around in the creek and. Take, do a uh, couple of take a couple of samples, but I've got no water here, so I'm going to have to take the samples home and and process it there. But at least, um, yeah, I'll get a few samples and we can see see if there's anything in this creek. This is a new creek, uh, as I've said, that I haven't sampled. Okay, St stay with me. Okay, the creek runs down from the hills, runs down through all this granite, um, it's all granite bedrock down through here, and it runs all the way down here, and just in the bedrock here, there's a, there's a boiler hole there, there's a few shallower boiler holes, there's a, there's a crevice just here, I, I wouldn't mind having a go at. Um, I didn't bring my crevicing tools. I've got a screwdriver, so I'll see if I can pry out a bit of material out of that crack there. Yeah, and there's another little shallow hole just there. But this one here has got material in the bottom. So I'll, I'll dig that out and I'll put that in the bucket. And, and uh, I'll look for some crevices that I can get into and, and take some samples. I think that'll be the, the, the way to go. Yeah. Beautiful country out here. Really nice. Okay, guys, I'll get back to this. Okay, that's as far as I've dug down into that boiler hole, guys. But um, there's all compacted gravels in there, and I haven't got the tools to get it all out of them. So, in the bucket here, that's what I've got. That, oh, it's great. I had to pull out a few of the gravels. They were really packed in and uh, I got out what I could with my screwdriver and my pick and yeah that's it so I've done him as far as I can if I get some gold in the in the material that I have in the bucket well I can always come back and I'm gonna do, dig a couple of holes around here and take some more samples okay that's where I was working, just over there. And this creek, it starts going downhill. Just goes down over this escarpment. And it drops right down, right down through there. Down past that grass tree, and it just drops down into a valley. I'm not sure if you can make that out down there. There's a valley down there, you see another creek side of the um, flat ground over there on the other side of, of this drop off yeah but I'll take a few samples you never know um, I might find something here okay guys there's the main creek over there and I've come up onto the higher ground up onto the granite all around there this is all granite outcropping here and just in here there's a fracture and it's it's full of all um all fine materials and that so i'm going to take a sample out of here because once it once upon a time the water been, would have been up this high would have been up over that outcrop just up there and i'm just below that one that outcrop so yeah so i'll take a sample out of here and uh just see what happens see if i get anything that's what prospecting is all about okay I pulled these two slabs of granite out of there so I've exposed the hole up I'm going to dig all that material out of there this material sitting on the rock and those little grass roots that's all going in the bag and uh, that'll be my sample okay I've dug right down to the bottom of that crevice it goes in a sort of a wedge shape and I've dug it all out and I've put it in the sample bag and that's my sample so 
years ago when all the water was flooding down over this granite outcrop, if there was any gold being washed around and got trapped, trapped in here, in these crevices, well, I should have it in the bag, hopefully. Now in the winter when, he, when we get the rains, the water comes down from the hills and it comes down through this creek here, over the granite bedrock, down through here, into here, and it sort of, there's a bit, bit of a flat area here where the grass is. That'll be a good spot to come back to and um, dig around in there, maybe when there's water here. And also around here, where it drops down in through these boulders, there's a nice little hole just there. Any, any heavies and that could, could get trapped in there. And this area here, you can see the granite there. And down in through here, this is a flat area. So it races down from the higher ground, comes down through here, and it hits this flat area. So this would be a good spot to start digging around and, and um, doing some panning. So I'll do that this winter, I'll come down here. Especially if I get any gold in these samples. That's what I'm doing now. I'm taking samples today and testing to see if I'll, I'll get any specks of gold. If I get specks of gold, then I'm laughing. I can come back down here and I can go hard. Okay guys, I'll get back to this. Okay, as I said before, you've got this creek coming down here, runs down through there. There's a nice, nice little flat area just in there where the grass is. That'll be a nice little spot amongst those rocks, be a good spot to test. And then here where I'm standing, Check this out guys, there's another, a second creek, comes down, meanders along down through the granites, and look at this, right into a big hole. And I'm standing on a big pile of, of sand, a big heap of sand just here, so obviously all the light material is dropping out, and there's a pile of rocks just there. Yeah, this might be a good spot here to, to even try, have a go. There is a bit of a crevice just there where all those gum leaves are. But I think when the water's really flowing hard down through here, anything in those crevices here, they just get blown out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's all interesting. I'll keep going. Look at this barbed wire fence, guys. Runs along the paddock there and it goes up that hill. Yeah, it reminds me of The Great Escape. Have you ever watched that movie? Steve McQueen on his motorbike, riding up and down the barbed wire fence. And then he zooms up a hill, just like that, and jumps over it. Well, he jumps over one of them anyway. Yeah, and um, this is the creek, guys. I'm up, I'm up on a bit further up, higher, higher up now and uh, it just keeps going keeps going up through there up into the hills there so um, I'm going to jump that fence without killing myself hopefully and I'll take some samples on the other side of that fence up there that, that looks really juicy up there another big outcrop there granite okay guys I'll get back to this my apologies for the wind too guys playing up with the audio Okay, I've crossed the fence, I'm on the other side, and I've just walked up a little bit, following this little, little runoff, this little creek, runs down through here, through all the, all the granite, check this out guys, drops down into this hole here, and see how it's, all the rocks breaking down and eroding back there, what I might do, I might, Pull some of that small, small pieces of rock out of there, dig it out and see if I can get some half decent gravelly material. And uh, yeah, and I'll bag it up. Like this is where the creek goes. Comes down along here, sort of, as you can see here, it sort of flattens off a bit here. And then it dives off again. Another, probably another good little spot there. Flattens off for about three metres. And then it, um, whoop, it's a bit, the ground was a bit loose there. 
There's some feathers, look. Yeah, and it just dives off down through here. Meanders on down there. There's the fence there. And uh, as you know, it just keeps going. Yeah, this is all cool. Cool looking. A cool looking creek. Cool area. In the bank here, you've got all this red um, iron mineralized dirt. Oxide, I suppose you call it. Oxide material. All in the bank here. Yeah. Okay, I'll get back. I'll I'll take another sample. Okay, guys, there's my sample that I took, and I've just taken it from out of there, and that's all compacted, compacted sand, gravel, clay, and I didn't dig very deep, but I've hit rock straight away, so I've only just taken that uh, two to three inches off. That's it. That's in my sample bag. Oh, well, at least it's something. Check out this rock up here, guys. I don't know if that's a moss or whether it's um, another type of rock where it's broken away. Yeah, interesting. G'day, guys. Well, I'm back home. It's the next day, actually. And uh, I'm sieving out that first lot of material, the material that I dug out of that boil hole uh, in the granite. Um, the granite um, bedrock yeah so I've got it here I'll just I'll sieve it all out sieve all the fines out and then I'll um and then we'll pan it out and see if we can get any gold out of it and I've still got the two other samples to do so I'll get back to you when I'm all set up guys okay guys here's that dirty material that here yeah, that I got out of that boiler hole so hopefully it'll have all I want to see is just one speck of gold if I see one speck of gold in this material um, then I'll know I'm onto it there's, I know there's gold in that area so I just want to find one speck in in either three of these samples if I can get a speck or two of gold then that tells me there's gold in that area and I can go back there and dig down deeper because these samples that I took they're not really deep they're, more or less just off the surface is um, that boiler hole that I dug out of dug this material out of it actually went deeper but it was too hard and compacted I couldn't I didn't have the tools I needed to go back there with a hammer and chisel and and uh, really get into it and get down to the bottom of that hole that's where the gold's going to be lying it's going to be right down on the bottom but we might get lucky we might pick up a, a piece or two that didn't travel that far. Anyway, let's have a look, guys. Let's have a look, see how we went. Piece of iron stone. Now, there's a little bit of black sand there, surprisingly. I think I've got a piece of gold. I think that's a piece of gold, guys. Just up in here, two pieces. That looks like gold to me. Oh, there is. Oh, there's gold there, you bloody beauty. Sorry about the swearing. I, I'll get excited when I... This is a new spot. There's gold. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It is, it's early morning. The sun hasn't come right up yet, but that's gold. There's about... Oh, mate. There'd have to be about 20 or 30 little specks. I can see them. I've got my reading glasses on. And I can see oh, about four or five um, specks easily. And then up the back, I can see all this fine gold, super fine. So I'm onto it, guys. There's gold in that creek. You ripper. So instead of hit and miss, I'll be going back to this creek from now on. And um, I, I've got to go there and I've got to dig down deep. Uh, it, in that creek in the flat areas so I'll be going back digging down I'll take my gold monster with me and I'll see if I can maybe ping some nuggets yeah okay guys I'll um, I'll get back to you with the next pan hey guys I forgot the oversize I, be I better pan this out right here's a there's all that oversized material from the boiler hole so I'll, I'll pan this out you never know I might get a nugget I might surprise myself okay I've got to take all these rocks out. 
Some of those stones might be gem, gem quality. So just a few gum leaves and stuff. Well, that, that's I'm really thrilled with that, guys, because um, as you know, I've been hunting those hills for oh, probably seven or eight years now. I've been hunting there. I, I knew, always knew there was gold there, but it was trying to find it, trying. And I'd found, as, as you know, from hitting this creek, I was finding the odd speck. Um, but now that I've, I'm onto this new creek and I've got that, um, that, those fine specks you saw, well, I don't know if you can see them with the camera, but I'll empty the snuffer bottle out at the end and I'll show you the gold, a close up, and I'll, I'll put it under the microscope. But um, that, that's what I was always getting on about. If you want to find the gold, you've got to get out there and um, dig holes, pan some dirt, and that's how you find it. Not, I've been to that creek before, but I never sampled it. I wandered through there, I did a bit of a video on it, but I, I never sampled it because I didn't have a pan with me. And um, yeah, I, I just I was just walking around. I was mainly looking for for quartz with um, with uh, mineralisation in it. That's what I was doing on that particular day. So. So I went back out there yesterday, and as, as you saw in the video, and I took some samples, and that's how, that's how you find your gold. It's as simple as that. But um, I'm really chuffed. I'm really chuffed because that was only scratching the surface, as you saw. That boiler hole, it still goes deeper. I've got to go back there and and um, hammer into it with a with a cold chisel and, and hammer and break out more and get to the bottom of that hole. That's where the nuggets are going to be. The bigger gold, the get, bigger gold's going to be on the bottom of that boiler hole, and all through that creek, from way up the top, past that barbed wire fence, and all the way down, there's going to be gold in there. So, yeah, it, it's it, it's got me really excited. Now, I've got another spot to go to, another spot that I can get gold, um, and show you guys. And if I'm um, if I'm finding enough of it. I'm going to package it up in the bags. I'm going to send it back to you guys. All you guys that sent me gold, well, I might have a source now uh, where I can repay you guys. Okay, I won't go down any further. Now, wouldn't it be really cool if I had a decent piece of gold in here? Oh, mate, that would be super. Okay. Right, let's have a look here, guys. Be nice to have a bit of a, a piece of gold in here. Doesn't look like it. No, nah, no, nah, nothing in there. That's all right. That's cool. Okay, guys, I'll get on to sample number two. Okay, guys, this is that sample number two. The um, material I took out of the granite. Remember, I pulled that big um, piece of granite out of the out of that crack. And I dug all the um, all the material out all the way down. It was like a wedge-shaped hole that I dug in the granite when I pulled all those um, pieces of rock out. Well, this is that this is that um, sample sample number two. Yeah. So um, yeah, if there was any gold washed up washed down that creek on a high flood, and there was gold moving around, I might get some in this material. I hope so. Well. I'm just really glad um, that first sample had had fine gold in it. That's that's made my day. It was that's worth the effort going out there and doing that, climbing that barbed wire fence and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So I've got a new source, guys. I've got a new spot to go to. Who knows what's there? Who knows? I'm wondering if I go further up the top of that follow that creek up to the top I might even find where it's coming from um, it, it could be still gold in the granite outcrop somewhere up there in a quartz vein or something at the moment I'll just stick with that creek okay guys let's see if that little crevice that I dug out was holding any gold. I can see blue black sand. There's black sand there, guys. I can't see any specks of gold. 
but it's a dual loop job. If there is any gold in there, it's going to be super fine. And that just tells me, if there is gold in that black sand, that tells me that the gold was travelling up high as well, high up on the creek as well as in the creek. Yeah, in the lower part of the creek, I should say. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you with um, sample number three. Before I do that, actually, I'll, I'll, um, I'll pan out the oversize. I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's the oversize. So, we'll go through this. Um, the fine material, I looked under my jewels loop, nah, nothing. Not a single speck. But that's okay, that just tells me uh, in that particular sample, up high on the creek, there was there was no gold there. Not to say there, there was never any gold shed up there, but in that sample, uh, this sample, there was there was none. There was no gold. So it looks like I've got to get down in the creek, lift some rocks around, dig down in the, in, in between all the the bedrock in that creek, and that's where the gold's going to be. So at least I know that much. Might get a nugget out of this lot, guys. You, it's um, prospecting. You just never know what you're going to find. That's that's the good thing about it. That's what keeps me going. And um, I just like getting out bush, wandering around the hills, and yeah, just having a look a, look around. Coming across the old timers' diggings and that, and all that sort of thing. It's all it's all good, good stuff. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look through the oversize. See if I can find a nugget. Nah, nothing. I can't even see a little, a tiny. Oh, there, there's something just there. I don't, I don't know if it's gold or not. I'll have a look under the under the jeweler's loop, but it looks like a piece of metal just there in front of my finger. Mm. Okay, I'll get back to this with sample number three, guys, the last sample. Okay, guys, sample number three and the last sample, and this material was taken uh, high up on the creek, up, up above that barbed wire fence, if you remember, I, um, I dug this out underneath the rocks, the, the rocks right in the, in the actual uh, bottom of the creek and this is where I've got sample number three yeah so hopefully there will be something in this and I couldn't dig it down very far if you remember I only went down about I don't know two or three inches into that hard packed gravel so I mightn't have anything in this because I think I need to get back there and get in right into the V bottom of that creek pull out rocks and dig down in amongst the the um, bedrock that's where all the big gold's going to be if there is any big gold but for one pan and i've got the gold that i could see in the pan that's heaps better than hit and miss heaps better Got a bit of black sand in there, guys, so we're in, in with a chance here. We're in with a chance. Black sand is a good sign. Okay. Fingers crossed, guys, fingers crossed. Let's get those rocks out of there. Come on. Some good black sand. No, not seeing any gold though. That's alright, maybe the gold wasn't that far up on the creek. Or 
I just, when I dig that out, I dug that out, it wasn't down deep enough. Yeah. Um, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, here's the oversize of that material. And um, in that fine material, guys, now I had a look under the jeweler's loop. Nah, nothing. Not a single speck. So that's all right. At least I know there's gold in that creek. But down the bottom in that boiler hole, I found gold down there. So there's got to be more gold down there. In the in the um, in the bottom of that creek, I'm gonna have to get down there and dig down, dig 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 down through all the gravels and stuff, and see if I can get to the bottom of the of the creek, get down to the bedrock, and hopefully there's gonna be more gold on the bedrock. Or, it will just be like hitting this creek, but I don't think so. I think, I think this is gonna be a better, a better spot. Okay, let's have a look. Glass pan, glass sample. See if we can get a decent piece. Nah, nothing. I can't even see a speck. Not even a small speck. Nothing. Okay, that's all right, that's cool. Hey, well, I got you guys, I'll just show you something. There's some blue quartz. When I was out there um, yesterday, I went and got some another supply of this rock. I call it blue quartz. Um, I'm not really sure. It's sort of mixed with a white. There's a white quartz, and then there's this blue um, quartz. Yeah. So there's some more there. Some more big chunks. But, um, there's some more blue quartz. Yeah, but I'll be sending some of this to Lindsay, uh, Lindsay from Albany. Uh, he wanted some of this, this rock, so I'm going to cut some up for you, Lindsay, and I'll send it down here, mate. Yeah, and um, stay tuned, guys, because I'll show you some rocks that Lindsay sent me. Yeah, okay, I'll see you at the wrap-up. Well, wasn't that cool, guys? Another spot. Yeah, I, I don't have to keep going back to hit and miss creek. Now I can go... To, go to this new creek, um, I don't know, I'll think of a name of it, it hasn't got a creek name, it's just a, a little stream that runs down off the, off the hills and cuts down through the paddocks, yeah, so um, yeah, so there's gold there, um, like I said, I'm going to have to go back, pull out some of those big rocks in that creek, pull them out, get down into the, into the bottom and shovel out some of the gravels from down below and, and um, this winter when I get water run, uh, water in that creek, I'll, I'll get down there and I'll be panning and then I'll bring some material home and process it here. Yeah, and I'll uh, yeah, obviously video it and show you guys and I'm, hope, I'm hoping that I can get more um, gold in the pan to show you guys. Yeah, that'll be really great. Mm, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Yeah, uh, it's a small amount of gold I know, just a few little specks, but that tells me a lot. Yeah. Um, I've got some mail, guys. I've got, I've got a box of rocks sent to me uh, by Lindsay. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Um, Lindsay lives in Albany, in Western Australia, and he goes out gold hunt. Oh, sorry, not gold hunting. He, I think he does do a bit of gold hunting, but he, he's into his rocks. He goes out and, and um, looks for different coloured rocks and stuff, searches for rocks in his area where he lives. Yeah, so I'll just show you what he sent me. It's all the same rock. It's a um, it's a pinkish green coloured rock. Now, yeah, that's it. I've got a um, 
Oh, I've got a battery warning coming up on my camera already. I'm gonna to have to get a new battery guys because this thing it's not um, staying in charge for very long. But I'll just give you a quick look in there. In the box. So I've got all, all this rock here. And uh, he did put in this piece of rock. And it's got some red, um, oh, I forget the name of the rocks now. Yeah, it's got these red stones in there, garnets. Red garnets in the, in the rock. Yeah, that's cool. So I've got all this um, Eukite, Unikite, it's called Unikite. I've got all this, 12 kilos of the stuff to cut up and slab. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a video of when I'm cutting this material up. Yeah. Okay, I better make it short and sweet because that battery's going to just cut out on me any minute or any second now. So thank you very much, Lindsay. Appreciate it, mate. You've got some rocks coming your way. I'm just boxing them all up and I'll send you a box of rocks. Uh, be all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for subscribing. Um, yeah, and just helping my channel grow. I appreciate you all. Stay safe out there. Take care. And you might see me back on that creek again, um, hopefully with some better gold. Okay, guys, bye for now.